Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here with the Rubik's. Uh, just wanted to go through a really quick demo of the user interface on the portal. We have a uh, prototype here. It's an older, older prototype, 3D printed um, arm cradle just put in there just for the sake of giving you guys a quick user interface demo. This is the lock screen. Um, it's the same you know, lock screen clock you'd probably use on the executive, you know, something like that. You can switch the clock to whatever you want, but that 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 one particularly goes with the executive model. Um, anyways, just like any other unlock, you'd double tap it um, to get in. You would just you know, swipe it. Obviously, it's not programmed to, uh, to be working right now. Again, this is a super beta version just to get you guys through how the user interface is laid out. Uh, again, don't stress, it's also portrait. Um, we have it in landscape now. When you're wearing it, uh, it definitely changes the the ergonomics of, of the way everything's laid out. Obviously, um, with with the way that the, the Android's laid out, it wouldn't really work very well in landscape uh, when you're wearing it. This uh, uh, user interface is also ambidextrous. Uh, and the reason why we did that is if, for instance, if you're wearing it uh, on this side and you're right-handed we want to keep all the uh, as as much as possible all of the all of the buttons more toward the end of it uh, when you're wearing it on your arm so that way if you're wearing a a, a, a sleeve for instance uh, you can just push the sleeve back and then you get to see most of the details try to keep them up toward the front um, these are the communication tabs uh, the reason why we did the communication uh, tab separate is simply because the th the three core fundamentals of a smartphone are communication. And those communications are um, SMS texts, voice call, and email. Uh, that's your communication to the outside world. Yes, there's social stuff too, but your main communication uh, are those three. So we put them conveniently right there so when you're in any app uh, or, or in any screen, you can always get to them. Again, they'll collapse on the on the production model. That way that you get a little bit more screen real estate and to just open them, you simply just you know slide, slide them out. You can always make a phone call immediately um, by getting to them that way the quickest instead of having to hit menu and then go back, find the phone, you know, click on it, etc. Um, so you have uh, SMS text message. Uh, just like every other phone, it's just laid out a little cooler, a little more beautiful, a uh, little more futuristic, uh, and also way more efficient and ergonomic. So let's see, let's click on an email from John. John emailed me. Uh, we can reply to John. That's our keyboard. Uh, we go back. Just simply, simply slide to the uh, to the right. And again, you can change. You can completely swap everything. Uh, if you're, for instance, left-handed, I have it set for right-handed right now. Um, we can like that. Let's get out of there. Um, go back. So, so for all the the other stuff, like all the tools, all the applications that you would you could possibly need, um, will be down here. You can just slide. Um, you can get to your your tools, uh, web, obviously. Learn. Uh, we'll go into learn uh, a little bit more in detail later on. Social, all your health stuff, and of course news. Um, so anyways, for like social, you just click on social. Um, and it also is laid out this way as well because it's broken down into these categories so you can get to it a lot quicker. Like if you needed your, uh, your calculator, for instance, you don't have to slide and scroll through a bunch of different application icons trying to figure out which one's which because sometimes they all look the same. So hopefully this way uh, it, it's quite a bit easier for you to find your apps. So if you you know, want to check your Facebook, you just click on social and then, you know, you can actually see in the, in the, in the widget here on the side before you even click on it, if you have any new messages, that way you don't really waste your, your, your time. Um, unless I guess you're bored, just going through your Facebook. Um, and again, let's just go to back. You can always, you know, use the, um, use the buttons on the side to get to any of your communication. Uh, application. So anyways, that's pretty much just a quick run through of the user interface. Again, we have a long ways to go. Um, we have plenty of time to get this uh, UI completely finished. We have a lot more to show you guys, but I just wanted to give everybody a quick heads up on why we designed 
the the um, user interface to look this way. Why we we bothered changing from the existing uh, Android uh, iOS kind of old school decade old layout is just because when you're wearing it, if you choose to wear it, uh, it's it's way more user friendly. Uh, for being worn, as well as even when you use it in portrait. It just organizes everything so much faster so your brain can get to what you need to get um, by clicking through these different categories or being able to make a quick phone call. So anyways, you can change the background, you can change all the colors, all that stuff. Fully customizable. Again, it's ambidextrous. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. Uh, there will be way more to come.